ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு தி டுவெண்ட்டி தேர்ட் வீடியோ ஆன் ஸ்னோப்ரோ கோர் சர்டிஃபிகேஷன் சீரீஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் சிஸ்டம் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் டேபிள் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் வித் இன் ஸ்னோஃப்ளேக் திஸ் இஸ் நாட் ஏ நியூயர் கான்செப்ட் வி ஆல்ரெடி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் போத் தீஸ் சிஸ்டம் அண்ட் டேபிள் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் இன் ஆல் தி அதர் வீடியோஸ் டு எ briefer extent now to provide you with a greater understanding we are going to discuss about what these things are we are trying to categorize these specific things under the system and table functions let us first start with system functions in snowflake snowflake provides the following types of system functions one is the control functions that allow you to execute actions in the system example aborting a query information functions are again further classified into two types one type of information function will return the information about the system example calculating the clustering depth of a table we already discussed this in the micro partitions video another one returns the information about the queries example information about the explain plans and everything many of these system functions will start with a prefix named system dollar example system dollar type of for the system functions that use that system dollar prefix we must have to specify that prefix while calling that function now let us see some of the examples before we dive deeper into the snowflake documentation here if you see select system abort session followed by the session id this will abort this specific session since there is a system dollar here this function is a system function again if you see cancel all queries session id will cancel all the active and running queries in the specified session again this is an system function as it is starting with system dollar most of these system functions starts with system dollar but there are some functions which may not start with system system dollar as well system dollar task dependence enable followed by task name this will recursively resume the specified task and its dependent tasks as well system allow list we already saw this in the snow cd video but again it returns the host names and port numbers that you can add it to your firewalls allowed list so that you can access the snowflake from behind your firewall and again another system allow list private link this is all about the private connections from the cloud service providers like aws azure or gcp to snowflake again if you see pipe status using this we can build retrieve the json representation of the current status of the pipe similarly if you see explain plan json followed by the sql statement expression or sql query id expression will generate the explain plan of the sql statement in the json format before moving on to table functions let us see how this thing works here here if you see the system functions in the snowflake documentation this contains the complete list of all the system functions if you see here these are all the set of control functions these are all the set of information functions as we discussed there are some very few functions which may not start here if you see extract semantic categories get anaconda packages report data say show python packages dependencies these are all not starting with system dollar but most of the things are starting with system dollar here if you see query information explain json is not starting with system dollar get query operator status is also not starting with system dollar so this much amount of system functions are available within snowflake so please spend some spend some time in understanding this specific snowflake documentation moving on we are going to discuss about table functions within snowflake table function returns set of rows for each input row the return set can contain zero one or more rows each row can contain one or more columns a table functions are sometime called as tabular functions as well table functions are typically used when a function returns multiple rows for the each given input example if you see 
a function that accepts the account number and date and returns all the charges billed to that account on that date. So it accepts one or two inputs and it will return multiple inputs. So the differentiations in the table functions are mainly broadly categorized as system defined table functions which Snowflake provides hundreds of built in functions many, many of which are table functions. One thing to note if you remember in our previous videos and all wherever the information schema related metadata are getting queried we are utilizing this system defined table functions only. The other one is the user defined table functions which are very evident we call it as the UDFs which we discussed as the part of the store procedures and user defined functions video. Now let us see some example. In this example we are going to discuss about one of the user defined table function and one of the system defined table function. Here we are seeing one user defined table function. We are creating say it is like here in the query select city name and temperature from table here we are calling this specific function record high temperature for date where we are passing the date as the value. Now here is the specific function creation statement. Here you can see it will accept the date value and it will return multiple output meaning event date, city, temperature, everything will be returned. So if you see if you are calling it again from here, from within the table, using the table as the input table function, here you can see you are calling that specific user defined table function from inside a table actually right so by doing this way as well we can call this udf when it comes to the system defined table function one of the function which we are using here is the infer schema function this is one of the system defined table function so here we are selecting it from the infer schema for the specific stage so it is the system defined functions for data loading it is the infer schema which will provide you the schema for the given stage again we are moving back to the snowflake document for table functions here you can see lots and lots of better descriptions there but see you can see the list of system defined table functions there are lot many available we saw only the infer schema alone for data loading but you are having system defined table functions for data generation data conversion snowflake cortex ml functions object modeling semi structured queries flatten is again part of the system defined table functions only query results result scan query profiling query history History, query acceleration history, warehouse storage. If you see, lots and lots of things are available. As usual, this will be available as the part of the description of this video as well. With this, we come to the end of this video. I hope this video has been informative for you. Please do write lot of comments. That will help me to enhance the course contents. Thank you very much for watching this video.